is get bent and we're going to make sure guys we have a towel at hand okay that we're just going to use to kind of basically do a few things that's it okay the towel is all we need now i'm going to use a box here but you can use you know your couch or just like you can even sit you can, you can even sit on your knees if you want to okay but effectively what we want to do is we're going to start with some spinal work and some breath work okay so today is just kind of about getting the body soft okay kind of lengthened out and whatnot and always before we get started what we're going to do is we're going to sit down okay we're going to start with the spine so effectively we're going to do this for three minutes which sounds like a long time but what we're going to do is this okay so sitting down so our hips are out of the equation we're going to be nice and tall and we're going to on our breath in as we breathe in we're going to tuck our chin onto the chest and we're going to round our back around our spine as much as possible from side view okay as i breathe in I'm going to round myself as much as possible. Now with my hands, I can roll my thumbs in. I'm, I can look to spread my shoulder blades, okay? As if somebody's kind of like punching me, okay? So I'm going to round as much as possible. Now slowly, the opposite to that would be as I breathe out, I'm going to push my heart forward and lift it up to the ceiling. And again, I can turn my hands to squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? So as my breath in, I'm going to get nice and small on my breath out i'm going to get nice and big okay so we're going to do this for three minutes what i would suggest is you know just marrying the work with your breath okay so it takes a little little time just to get used to it so don't crank it up but slowly and gradually look to kind of get bigger and bigger okay once you're ready we'll go in three two one let's get it okay so my breath in So you can play with the angles of your reach with the hands so you can come a little bit lower and straight across. I'm just trying to get to the different portions of the spine. But everything is slow and progressive, okay? So you're not cranking anything. And halfway, where you look to spread those shoulder blades on your way forward and you try to squeeze your face shoulder blades together. So try to open your chest up. So when you kind of reach up and back, literally try to do that. Okay, try to elongate your spine. And on your way forward, spread them. And then you draw that belly button to the back of the spine and up the rib cage. Okay, that's a really nice image. Belly button back to the spine and up the rib cage as you come forward. Make it the last one. Okay, once we're done, 
all the ways just simply face forward. And then we'll still kind of stick with the, the spine a little bit. Okay, so if you guys are sitting down, that's awesome. Again, if you're not, that's okay too. You can be on the ground. All we're gonna do is, you know, you can just put your hands okay, by your side. If you're on this seat, you can even like sort of kind of hold on to the bottom of the seat if you want to. And all we're gonna do is just to go into that, um, okay. Okay, so what that means is E to the shoulder. We're just gonna drop it to the side and to the side. Okay, again, there's no rush here. There is no speed. Just allow the weight of your head sort of kind of lead you. The only thing I would say is, you know, maybe kind of look at the screen so you can see the silhouette, at least of yourself. And, uh, you know, just make sure you are coming side to side. You're not kind of, you know, falling side to side like this with the shoulders, just the head. Okay, and you're holding onto the seat. You may kind of stabilize the shoulders. So you may get a bigger pull to the traps. Again, it's not a necessity. It's just an option that if you want to, you can. Okay, so from here, I'm still seated down. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect a few corners, okay? So effectively, we're gonna go into joint, okay, joint circles. So chin onto the chest, we're gonna come and look over to the armpit, shoulders back behind us, this is really important, and then up, back behind us, over the shoulders to the armpit, and then back down to the chest. Let's continue with that same side for two more circles, so three in total. Again, slow. Slow, slow, slow. And once you've done three, we'll just smoothly change directions. Make sure your eyes are open. Okay, eyes are open just to give yourself that target. So you are looking Okay, you do have that visual feedback. Okay, after three, take your time. Okay. So we're still gonna be seated down. And again, with being seated down, hopefully you're noticing that, okay? Uh, we're taking a hip out of the equation. So everything does have to come from like the upper body, right? So effectively, this is gonna be a little bit weird, but we're gonna give it a crack. So effectively, what we're gonna do is, you know, we've worked in this kind of forwards and backwards motion, okay? And we just kind of to rotate the head a little bit, okay? 360. So all we're gonna do here is this, okay? We're gonna to look to kind of allow the shoulders to kind of come into play as well. And we're gonna try and get the rest of the spine involved. So I'm not gonna say there is a, a right or a wrong or a good or bad way. You have to explore this a little bit and we'll just kind of put 90 seconds on the clock. So again, we don't care about how many reps you get in. Okay, just take it slow. And we wanna go with from a, no, we wanna be kind of going into this with a place of inquiry. What that means is we're gonna try find different positions. So again, by seated down, hips are heavy. You know, the, sm the simple is like this circular motion, right? I can just kind of, you know, rotate. But from here, look, I can rotate my spine. Again, my eyes are open. I'm not limited to anything. Obviously, make sure that you don't lean back so much that you start to fall backwards because that will be comical, okay? In fact, it is being recorded, but I don't think I can see your screen. So, you know, just be mindful. We're just gonna put 90 seconds in the clock. So nice and softly, we're gonna explore different corners, okay? Just with that spine. A nice analogy is imagine the crown of your head is like a, a paintbrush, okay? Or a pen. And we wanna try basically draw like a kid would, right? So a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> Squiggle everywhere. Again, even the ground is open to you so you can reach. As I said before, there is no right or wrong. Just go with the place of inquiry, just control. Maybe it's just even straight forwards and down. Everything's open. You can let your hands, your heads lead you.
last is him coming up. When you're ready, slow speeding up. And we are done. Cool. Perfect. From there, we'll remove the seat. Okay. We will be powered by our own legs now. Okay. Let me just blow my screen up. Boom. So from here, guys, what we're going to be going into, okay, is a little bit of joint rotation. So again, we're going to start kind of uh, from feet up. Okay. So basically, nice and easy. We'll go with the work that we were doing last week. We're going to kind of, rather than just having our feet in front of us like so, we're going to actually bend the knees a little bit. So from side view, okay, just like so. And then we're just going to move our ankle joint. Okay. So again, imagine a big toe. It's like a pen. And we're trying to draw as much of a big circle as possible. And sometimes it helps to actually look at your knee cap, okay, as well, just to make sure that we're not actually moving, you know, at the knees kind of thing, right? Or the hips for that matter. Just nice and simple. Obviously, the standing leg is going to be working a little bit hard to keep everything else a little bit solid. Even with the circles, keep it smooth. There is no rush. Let's change directions. And like any joint rotation work, we're looking to slowly and gradually try express the most out of range, right? So if you imagine a beautiful circle, what tends to happen is we probably have access to maybe half or maybe three quarters of that circle and that rest of that circle feels a little bit shitty, okay? So be mindful to try draw a nice smooth circle as opposed to cutting corners at certain places. Okay, let's change legs. Same thing, it's nice and simple, nothing too crazy. Choose one direction. And what you may find is, you know, going one way may feel a little bit more coordinated or a little bit more natural compared to the other side, okay? And again, that's okay. Do your best, smooth. Okay, we may be cracking and popping as well. And again, that's okay. Let's change directions. one and the rest shake it off okay so from here taking the old school okay we're going to have our feet as close as possible together maybe even touching okay again i'll give you a side view and what we're going to do here guys okay, bending the knees generously we're going to have our hands on top of our knees and we're going to go into this old school rotation so what i would suggest here is just nice and easy okay we're just going to put 30 seconds on the clock each direction and you want to take it slow okay so slowly kind of you know Make that circle bigger and bigger and bigger. But the cue right now is I want to make sure that you have your heels planted on the ground throughout the movement. So at no point do you let the heels come off the ground, okay, for this particular variation, okay? So effectively what we're gonna do is nice and simple for 30 seconds. We'll just choose one direction and slowly start to create this circle, okay? So obviously you will have this knees bent and then slowly straighten in the back. Okay, and again, just nice and easy, nothing crazy. You will see the weight shift throughout the feet. Okay, so that you know, the heels, the outside edge, the tippy toes, the inside edge. Okay, nice and gentle. From here, change directions. You will notice, hopefully, it's not just getting into the ankles, but also slowly into the hips. Okay. Again, a lot of cracking and popping is normal. Pain is not. And relax. So from here, same thing, but this time we will allow our heels to come off. Now, what I'm going to say to you here is be progressive about this. Okay. So obviously we're going to still straighten our legs to the back, but now as we you know, reach to a corner, we're gonna see how far our knees can travel ahead of us, which means the heels can come up slowly and then we'll they come back to the ground as we create that full circle. 
Okay, again, listen to your body. We'll go in three, two, one. Choose one direction. Effectively, now this is like the bigger circle. That's what we're doing. But it's under control. And you are guiding your body. Okay. Again, speed is not what we're looking for. Okay, trying to get as many reps as possible is again, something we're not looking for. Just keeping it controlled. When you're ready, change directions. Last circle and rest. Okay. Cool. So from here, guys, keeping it super simple, we're just going to move on from what we have been doing over the last you know, three weeks, building on the last three weeks, but just slightly different. Okay. So let's grab a towel. Okay. And we're going to go into around the world. So uh, for those of you, obviously, who've been consistent over the last three weeks, We've been working on those the shoulder dislocation. So remember, okay, boom, like so, just taking those hands backwards and forwards. Those of us who haven't been here last couple of weeks, okay, just make sure you have a wider grip, okay? So you should comfortably be able to take your hands back behind you and forward, okay? So make sure, just so you know, closer the hands, the harder it is. So don't make it hard, okay? So what we're gonna do here, guys, with around the world is legs are gonna be double shoulder width apart, thereabouts. It could be a little bit wider, okay? And what we're gonna do is just, again, putting 30 seconds on the clock, each direction, we're going to effectively go around in one direction, okay? So imagine a circle. But like the way we did our spine on the box towards the end, you know, you're not limited to just kind of like doing one way of creating circle, okay? So you can, you know, simply reach forward and this would be a nice straight forward, circle right so you know for 30 seconds we can just simply do this or we can start to now throw and cut corners so we can even take our hands back behind us okay so you know again 30 seconds isn't actually that very long time we're not looking for speed so just listen to the body and move your body in a way that feels good okay which means you know be willing to explore a little bit so 30 seconds around the world we are going to do this for two sets so don't worry maybe this set is just you know figuring out what we need to be doing and what we can do. Here we go, three, two, one. Choosing one direction. Legs are straight at all times, by the way. And I like to think I'm tearing the towel apart a little bit. That way my shoulders are engaged. Last circle, and then we're going to change direction. Hey, elbows are always locked, knees are always locked. The rest is game. Last circle, and talk and rest. Okay, from here, towels down. Second movement we're gonna go into is our active middle split. So over the last three weeks, we've been kind of making this a little bit more, you know, rangy. So today, we're gonna not hit the, the passive state, just the active, what that basically means is, we're gonna be looking to create our own tension, okay, throughout the movement. So as you guys know, middle split, what we'll start with is heels out, toes out, heels out, toes out. So we're gonna take our feet as wide as we can, okay? And then this is the first sit, and maybe stay, you know, one, two steps behind what you think you should be doing. The key thing here is legs are firm and wide. And then we're gonna simply put our hands back behind us as if we're gonna reach the wall behind us. 
Eyes will be gauged to the other side of the room. We're gonna simply keep our spine long as we reach back. We're gonna pause at the bottom here for three, two, one, and then drive the butt through. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I reach back, eyes go to the other side of the room, pause for three, two, two. And three, two, three. Three, two, four. Three, two, five. Three, two, six. Two more. Three, two, seven. Three, two, eight. And if we can, we'll kind of wiggle our feet back in. If not, you can put your hands on the ground and come out. Okay. Now, from there, we're going to go into uh, our third and last movement. And here we're going to look to open the shoulders a little bit. Okay. Let me just turn my hand backwards here. So all we're going to do here, guys, we're going to be onto our knees. And with this, the big idea is making sure your shoulders are loaded around this region. Okay. Around the shoulder blades. So most of your strength work is happening from here, your stability. If this is not working and we get up, okay, up in this space, A, you're not going to be stable. You're not going to get the stretch we're looking for. B is actually a little bit compromising position. So you can actually like, you know, be like, it's not comfortable. So again, you're looking to make sure you're going to wrap your armpits. Okay, so this is the key thing, making sure you wrap the armpits to turn the shoulders out a little bit. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. Hips are roughly okay, over the knees and knees can be wide. From here, we're going to reach out in front of us with the hands, okay? But again, make sure we're not trying to take the piss, right? So it's not kind of, you know, how far can you go, okay? Just where enough where, A, I'm on my fingertips and I can wrap my armpit, okay? So this is the position we're going to start in. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck our bottom underneath us, okay? So we're going to go into this posterior tilt, drawing our belly button to the back of the spine. With the eyes gazed in between the hands, we're going to slowly sink down, trying to get the armpits, the chest down to the ground, like so, but without losing the back. We're going to still try to keep that posterior to, to that bottom tucked underneath us, okay? And we're going to work hard to maintain that position for 45 seconds, okay? So let's have a look, okay? So knees under the, okay, knees uh, under the hips, hands in front of us, maybe a little bit wider with the hands. Now, hide the armpits, tuck the bottom, and slowly bring us up down to the ground. So keep wrapping the armpits, keep tucking the bottom, but trying to bring the chest and the armpit towards the ground. So you're gonna feel this through the, the lat area possibly, maybe the upper to mid back. The more the posterior tilts, the more stable the lower back, the more the upper back is gonna feel it. Nothing at the top or front of your shoulders, okay? That's how you know you're losing it. So keep pushing down into the ground with the fingertips. Keep wrapping the armpits while you're trying to bring the torso down to the ground. Another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly and back off. And then standing up. Okay, so we have those three movements around the world with a towel, 30 seconds per side. We're going to eight reps of our active middle split. Okay, just get into the hips and then we'll finish with some, hey, 45 seconds of shoulder opener. Okay, so let's get busy. Okay, so if you do want to feel this a little bit more, bring your hands a little bit in. Okay, and remember the Tearing the towels. Imagine you're going to pull the towels apart throughout the movement. That's going to help engage things at the back of your shoulders as well. Here we go. Legs are firm and locked. Elbows are firm and locked as well. We'll go in three, two, one. Choose one side.
So slow, controlled. Trying to create as big of a circle as possible. This is the last circle. And then change directions. Again, reach away from the body as much as possible with the towel. So wherever you are, think about tearing the towel and also allowing the towel to go as far away from the, from the middle of the body. So be intentional. Last one. And rest. Whew. All right, here we go. We're gonna go into our active middle split, eight reps, three second pause per rep. Toes and heels out. Okay, choose a place where we can be strong. Fingers back behind us. So again, we're active from our shoulders. Looking to the other side of the room. Let's take a hinge. Pause for three, two, one. Drive on up. Three, two, two. Keep reaching back with the hands. Three, two, three. Three. Two, four, three, two, five, three, two, six, three, two, seven, three, two, eight. And walking them in if you got it. Okay. So from here, we're going to go down to the ground into our shoulder opener. And this one, guys, still the same cue with the shoulders. Make sure you're wrapping the armpits. But this time, we'll look to drop the belly button down towards the ground. So you're going to be in an anterior tilt, just so everybody's clear. So, you know, posterior tilt was draw that belly button to the back of the spine to round the lower back. Now we're going to try drop the belly button. So we're going to look to arch the lower back. Okay. But again, integral, wrap the armpits, keep everything here. Here we go. Hips over the knees, fingertips out in front of us. Now wrap the armpits, eyes gaze between the hands roughly for 45 seconds. Here we go. We're going to slowly bring ourselves down to the ground, but the belly button is trying to come to the ground. The chest is still trying to come to the ground but you're gonna keep that armpit wrapped. Okay, so again, belly button's dropping, you're arching your lower back. Keep your armpits, again, okay, trying to hide the armpits, but down to the ground. Think about the shoulder blades that are trying to face the ground. Okay, if you are getting pretty low, lift your head up a little bit. Okay, without cranking the neck up, you're trying to get the collarbone down to the ground. Keep wrapping the armpits and keep the shoulders firm. Four, three, two, one. Slowly backing it up. Whew. Okay. Okay. Quick drink of water and then we move on to the next bit. Okay. Okay, so as we're just getting ready, we've got three moves, guys, that we're going to hit for three sets. As always, the, um, the first set, a lot of talking, figuring shit out, okay? So be patient, be mindful, and then we'll double down on the second and third set, okay? So effectively, what we're doing here is we're going to look at the, the stuff at the back of the body, then the front of the shoulders, and then shorten the, the hip flexors, okay? So... We're gonna go start off with our ostrich walk, okay? They're all freaking animals or from Eastern Europe, okay? So it's not my fault, they're just named that way. So this ostrich walk is basically working with a high frequency, okay? So effectively what we're doing here is we're gonna have a walk. So if you don't have much of a space, that's okay. All you'll do is do as much as you can, 
turn around and repeat that process. You may just be going up and down like so, okay? But what we're gonna do here, guys, is this, okay? We're going to take one small step ahead of us. We're gonna slowly just be curled down and reaching down towards the ground. Now, it doesn't matter if you can't touch the ground, so you're here somewhere, or down here, or down here, okay? What we wanna see is just you relax from the spine. So everything from the up, upstairs is relaxed as much as possible. We're actually gonna use, utilize the, the weight and the gravity of the torso, okay, to okay, load the hamstrings up. So one leg is in front of the other. All we're gonna do is two pulses. So we're gonna go one, two, then it's a small step through. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now that beat, okay, that one, two, one, two. That is the way we dictate how low we are. And what I mean by that is, you know, if we're here, but then we're trying to reach so far, like one, two, and then it's like slow, one. That's like too slow and it's too far, okay? We can't keep up the beat. That means it's too hard, okay? So choose, work a little bit higher. So basically, if you're in here, one, two, one. This is going to be better. So that beat is the most important thing, okay? So nice and simple. The other main thing is the weight of the head, just really relax, okay? So, you know, Think about you're gonna look through your legs back behind you as opposed to trying to see where you are. Obviously, don't hit a wall in front of you or anything that's in front of you. So every now and then do look up, okay? But for the majority of the time, you're relaxing, okay? Let's give it a crack. Let's see what happens, okay? We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna turn around, keep it going. One, two, two, Ready, rest up slowly. Okay, we survived, that was good. Okay, so I didn't say it at the start, okay? We want the legs to be straight as possible, both legs. Now, if, it's, if you're really tight and it's really restricted, you can soften the back knee, okay? So back knee can soften a little bit, boom. Yeah. Which is the back knee, this is the back knee, this is the top. So again, we can be doing this a little bit if we're kind of like, you know, super tight. Otherwise, legs are straight. So that's the ostrich walk. From here, we'll sit down onto the ground, okay? And we're gonna go into our dynamic tabletop. Now, again, if this is like too much of the front of the shoulders and you're not strong enough, it's a simple regression would be palms, fingers face back, squeeze the shoulders. And look, you can just sit here, okay? With that nice load statically for the duration of the work that we're gonna be doing. Otherwise, the actual work we're gonna be doing, guys, Hands outside the thighs with fingers pointed back. From here, my legs are slightly apart. And then look, I'm going to push the ground away from me, use this stuff here, okay, at the front of my body to pick my hips up off the ground with my legs straight. I'm gonna hang out here for three seconds. And then I'm going to plant my feet, drive my knees forward to lift the hips, my bum up, not my tummy, okay? So we're not arching the lower back, it's the bum. Also, my weight is onto my legs. That way I can actually press the ground away to lift the chest up to the ceiling. Okay, so effectively, we're working our shoulders in extension, so arms are back behind us. We need to be strong from the middle of the shoulders to open the chest. <coughs> we'll give it a crack and see what happens. Okay, five reps is what we're gonna go for. So if this is too hard, remember, take the regression. Otherwise, bum comes up, we'll hang out here for three, two, one and drive on up. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, two. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Three, two, four. Three, two, four. Three, two, five. And three, two, five. 
and down. Okay, I did a lot of pull work yesterday, so I'm feeling this in my bicep, beautiful. So from here, guys, the, the last move that we're gonna do is our straddle compression, okay? Straddle compression or straddle position is effectively legs wide open, okay? Now, what I'm gonna say to you is, you guys should know from last few weeks, if sitting down in this position isn't attainable, meaning you're like this, you're rounding or you have to do this, put something under your bum, elevate those hips. It's far more effective this way, okay? Because this is gonna be redundant. It's actually gonna be more compromising, okay? If we're in this position, I can't do the work. Okay, put a cushion, couple of books, whatever, but raise your hips up, okay? But what we're gonna do here, okay? So last few weeks we've been doing, you know, reaching, leg lifts, and then holding. Today, keeping it super simple, okay? We're gonna have both our hands, okay? In, uh, outside the, the leg we'll be working. So we'll effectively be going from this side to this side with the hands, okay? And as you know, we wanna make sure, we wanna try to close the gap between the thighs or the ground and our torso. So the more I lean, the harder this becomes. So by definition, if we're back here doing this, okay? The leg may be coming up and down, but really we're not working anything, okay? For this reason, what we're gonna do and I apologize in advance, my counting is crap, okay? As I get, as the work gets harder, okay? Everything goes out of the window, okay? So we're gonna go for five seconds, five seconds, five reps. So what we're gonna do here is this, toes are pointed, hands are pushed into the ground, preferably the heel of your palm rather than your fingertips, okay? The reason being, I wanna use this as well, okay? So pushing the ground away, point those toes, we want pretty toes at all times. From there, we're gonna lift at the hips, okay? Not kind of, knees bending like this or whatever. We're gonna come up and hold for five seconds, legs down, go to the other side, lift for five seconds. And we'll repeat that process for five reps on each side. It is gonna get very crampy, okay? But embrace the suck, okay? You'll be fine. So without further ado, let's get busy, okay? So toes are pointed, I'm gonna close the gap, reach forward, press the world away. We'll go in three, two, one, lift. Five, four, three, Two, one, down, lift, five, four, three, two, two, down, lift, five, four, three, two, three, down, lift, five, four, three, two, four, down, lift, five, four, three, two, five, down, lift, five, four, three, two, six, down, lift, five, four, three, two, boom, down, lift, five, four, three, two, eight, down, lift, five, four, three, two, nine, down, lift, five, four, three, two, ten, down, Okay, I don't know if that was just hard for me, okay? We wanna make sure guys, again, we've got good contact with the ground, okay? This is really critical, okay, with the hands. So if you've got your bum elevated and you're on your fingertips, okay, that's okay, but make sure you're pushing down. The rest of us, we're trying to get that heel of the palm on the ground. Okay, so that's the three movements, okay? We've got an ostrich walk, followed by a tabletop, okay? And then we're gonna to get to those straddle compression work. So three things, we've got two more sets, now remember with the ostrich walk, we wanna preferably have both legs straight. And again, let that spine relax, okay? If you can touch the ground, that's awesome. Try get heavier. So try, you know, if it's the fingertips, let me just bring it through. So if you touch, if this is the ground, if you're touching the fingertips, try roll your knuckles and try get that extra range. Maybe the knuckles, maybe, yeah, palm or flat on the ground. So that becomes like your goal. If you can't quite touch your, uh, if you can't quite touch the ground, maybe, you know, as you're coming through, you know, grab your shin somewhere. So now you know, tangibly, can you, are you making, can you slide them down slowly down towards your feet and in front of you and through your toes? So make this tangible, okay? To make it like, you know, there's a target to kind of achieve essentially. Cool? All right, let's get busy. We'll go in three, two, one and 
Going to turn around. And slowly finishing it up. Okay, we're alive, good. From here guys, down onto a bum for the tabletops, okay? So move the tabletops, we've got three seconds. And as we always say, hey, when we're here in the physical space, that three seconds, yes, it's a pause, but it's an opportunity for you to start to dial things in. What can you do better? What can you refine, right? In those three seconds, go through your checklist. Is my glutes on? Am I able to squeeze more? Is my weight nice? Rather than, oh my God, I'm about to die. Everything is uncomfortable in my shoulders. So again, make those adjustments, okay, in those three seconds. Here we go. Fingers pointed back, outside the hips. Use the front of your, okay, trunk to lift the bum up for three, two, one. Here we go, coming through. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, three, two, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, four, three, two, four, three, two, five, three, two, five, and down. Okay. Onto our beloved travel compression. Now, FYI, guys, if you're like on your end ranges, if you're trying to go as wide as possible, it's super hard. So again, stay two steps behind what you think you should be doing and focus on lifting the whole leg as a whole. Okay, here we go. Hands on the outside, toes are pointed, pretty toes. We'll go in three, two, one, lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift. Five, four, three, two, two, down. Lift, five, four, three, two, three, down. Lift, five, four, three, two, four, down. Lift, five, four, three, two, five, down. Lift, five, four, three, two, Six, down, lift, five, four, three, two, boom, down, lift, five, four, three, two, eight, down, lift, five, four, three, two, nine, down, lift, five, four, three, two, ten, down, listen. I'm so proud of myself that I haven't screwed the counting up yet. Maybe I have, I don't know, okay? All right, last sit, okay? Ostrich walk, Demi ostrich. Here we go. In three, two, one, and one, two, and one, two, one, two. Imagine you're gonna fall more forward to keep the weight on your front leg predominantly. Direction, here we are.
and slowly rest. All right, that's good. Let's go tabletop. Okay, change the scenery. I'm gonna face the other way. Keep things interesting. All right. Again, guys, make sure nothing in the front of the shoulders. If it is, that means you're dropping back too much. Okay, you should be going more onto your feet. Here we go. Fingers pointed back. Legs are straight. Let's lift the bum up in three, two, one. And hold for three, two, one. Drive through. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, two. Three. Two, three, three, two, three, three, two, four, three, two, four, three, two, five, three, two, five, and down. Last bit of compression, the legs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Toes are pointed. Hands either side, push the world away from you. Okay, in two, one, lift five, four, three, two, one, down, lift five, four, three, two, two, down, lift five, four, three, two, three, down, lift five, four, three, two, four, down. Lift five, four, three, two, five, down. Lift five, four, three, two, six, down. Lift five, four, three, two, seven, down. Lift five, four, three, two, eight, down. Lift five, four, three, two, Nine, down, lift, five, four, three, two, ten, and rest. Okay, okay. And drink of water, good people. Let's rest up. The sun is flowing in. balls. okay. Now, we've got pretty chilled work, so we're good, okay. Let me just put a barrier so that way the sun's not gonna blind the camera. Let's have a look if this works. Okay. Can I put it through? Okay, maybe. All right, people, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our super couch. Now, all we're gonna do is not much of a strength work per se, more of a passive hold, okay? So now we get to chill out a little bit, look to kind of really calm the nervous system down. So we're gonna just kind of effectively work on two major areas, okay? So front of our legs and then back of the legs, okay? So super couch, we're going to need a couch, a box, a seat, whatever you, ha you have at home, okay? I'm gonna use a box, nothing too crazy, okay? If you do have a hard floor, you need something underneath for your knees, okay? And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this against the wall today for myself, okay? So yeah, now, the cool thing about you know being in a couch or a box, just so you guys are super aware as we set this up, okay, is as you can see my ankles, okay, my ankles can mold around, okay, and this is like the limiting thing for most people to get into the the quads to start off with. What I mean by that is when we're on the wall, okay, obviously our laces, so the front of the shin, has to be somewhat flexible for us to just solely go into the quads, right? So this is a preferred way, okay. I'm gonna do this on the wall today, just because I did split squats yesterday, okay? So effectively, same thing, okay? Remember the cues wise, what we're looking to do here, whether you're on the wall or a couch, 
is that we're trying to keep the knees as close to the wall as possible and then trying to bring the bum close to the heels as possible without arching a back. So sometimes we think like, you know, this feels like I'm getting range. It's not. Keep a rib cage down and some of us may be here. That's okay. And that's how you push back. Use the front leg, okay? So let's have a look at this simple position. Okay, I'm gonna just hang out here for 90 seconds. Okay, so a minute and a half. We'll go in three, two, one. Okay. I was definitely working the quads. So rib cage is down. And again, you know, whether you're on a wall, couch, whatever, okay, you're doing this on, maybe just simply reach back and just kind of make sure, you know, the back is not too far away. And maybe you can even grab onto that thing. Then we say, you know, rib cage, this chest down a little bit. So effectively what you do is you're crunching down and that's gonna flatten the lower back, which means you should be able to drive into your butt a little bit more, okay? So I think what, what we're looking for here is effectively making sure the structures, okay? Obviously we're trying to get into the hips, the quads in particular, so the front of our thighs. And in order to get there as effectively as possible, we need to make sure the rest of the body is playing ball. Right, because what happens is just trying to get into this position, we start to kind of do funky things from elsewhere. So be mindful. We've got last 30 seconds coming up. And then I just want to kind of bring your attention to your hips. Okay, is it actually facing forward? So think about the back hip pushing forward as you pull the front hip back. So you're doing a little bit of this action. So if you look at me, my back hip here, I'm gonna to try to push forward, my front knee, I'm gonna pull back just to kind of square myself up a little bit. And that should hopefully bring the, the stretch a little bit more to the middle of our quads. Once we're ready, slowly coming down and rest. Boom. Okay. Once we're ready, we'll start the setup for the other side. Boom. We'll go in three, two, one, okay. This side is definitely tight. Okay, rib cage is down. Okay. okay, so again, think about using your front leg to push you back with the back hip. You can again, put maybe the hand in the small of your back just to kind of feel whether you are actually flat or you know, like super really arched. Okay, and like the cue that we use in that shoulder opener, try to go to that PPT. So you're trying to tuck your bottom underneath you. Okay, so you're trying to tuck your hips, your back hip underneath you. Same thing around the hip being square. So think about the back hip being pushed forward and the front hip being pulled back. Just to square things up. Obviously breath to connect the whole thing. Last 30. So remember, stretching is like a skill, right? So like the word I said in the tabletop, you know, don't just think here like, okay, I've arrived and I'm, I'm feeling this stretch. Think about how can you make this slightly better? So you know, be inquisitive, you know, in terms of not a, you know, overhaul of the technique, but just ask questions. Are you comfortable? Are you going through the checklist? Once we're ready, slowly coming forward and then back it up, bang. Okay, good job, okay. So from here, the last thing we're gonna get into guys, okay, and again, we're gonna go for a minute per side. And this is gonna be a little bit like what we did at the start of the session with the spine on the box, right? You know, when I talked about there isn't really a right or wrong way, good or bad, okay? Just trying to figure this out for you in terms of like, you know, what feels good for you. Now, what I will say though, is when we do this, maybe kind of, you know, look to pause in a particular place that feels good for anywhere from, you know, three to 10 seconds, right? So yes, I do want you to move in different ways, okay? Try explore. But if there are certain places you feel like, oh, I haven't felt that before, just pause there, breathe through it, okay? What we're gonna do is this. 
we're going to use a wall okay and effectively we're going to have one leg straight so if i'm going to face this way okay my outside leg the leg that's furthest away is pointing straight ahead okay from there the closest leg to the wall i'm going to plant that leg on the wall you can't see it maybe you can now okay so from here the cool thing is this this leg the outside leg is facing forward at all times but the leg on the wall can actually twist you can see i'm moving my toes forwards you know back and so on so keeping the standing leg straight you can use the spine as a way to load i can rotate i can fall forwards i can even go to the wall okay i can even fall back a little bit so you know you can use your torso in whatever trajectory whichever vectors okay you want to go into but again like everything slow smooth controlled yeah so again big idea here is anything that feels good pause feel it out breathe it in okay don't rush through corners we're gonna go for a minute and a half per leg okay that should give you plenty of opportunity okay here we go we'll go in three two one so if you were to go straight to that okay, wall you'll feel this probably through the the hamstring on the leg that's on the wall yeah if you were to slowly kind of fall forwards, maybe this is hybrid or both. You probably feel this in both legs. If you keep the spine long versus spine soft, it's going to have a different sort of loading. You can even use your arms to make yourself longer or levers longer, which is again, in turn, going to have different effect, okay, on the loading. You can even throw a rotation, okay? You may get cramping in the hip on the standing leg. And again, that's normal because we're working hard to stabilize things, that's cool. Oh yeah, okay, hello. You can try smell your toes on the on the wall. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't say lick your toes. Just try smelling your toes. And slowly back it up. Boom. Shake it off. And we'll go to this side. Last rep. Okay, I just saw a spider. I'm scared, but I'm going to stay calm. Here we go. <laughs> In three, two, one. Oh, this rotation is amazing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly back it off. Shake your legs off. And let's bring it in, team. How are we doing? How are we feeling? What's happening? We're alive? 
Yeah. How do you go? 